Hi, welcome to Impact with Alice. To all my new and returning subscribers, thank you for your love and support on this channel. I appreciate your presence on my channel. And thank you to the fabulous 1,000 subscribers. This week, the channel reached a 1,000 subscribers milestone. And this would not have been possible without the presence of each and every one of you. Thank you. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make your application to Ludwig Maximilian University Mission. And this university, the application for the master's and the bachelor program is currently ongoing. And if you are using a mobile phone to navigate this website, the icon for the menu, which is on the right on the laptop screen, is going to be towards the base of the mobile phone uh, screen. So you click on the menu uh, icon and select steady when you select steady you will have these various options to select from and what i'm going to do is to click on all degree and programs and then navigate to the one that says international degree programs so that we are focusing on just programs that are taught in english language alone would you like to study in english in addition to english taught master program LMU also offers several double degree programs in English, German, or French at selected partner universities. So for those that are planning to apply for Erasmus program, those are the people that their double degree or uh, is specifically for, especially because they will have to do one part of their study in one country and the second part of their study in a different country. Uh, if you scroll down on that page, you will see the English taught master programs that are available at LMU. Ludwig Maximilian University Munchen. And when I counted the number of studies here, there are about 31 of them. So there are 31 English taught programs. And first, before you log out of this uh, video, I need to let you know that the application to the University of um, to LMU, there are three different types of applications. There are those that you will make the application directly online on their portal. There are those that you have to fill a physical application form, like uh, you typing in on a form, and then you have to send that form either by email or by post together with the documents that is required. And also there are programs among these 31 whereby the application ended in April, uh, in April and February. So there are some programs like that. So in case if the one I'm showing you did not show how to make the application you just need to read a bit further down and be sure that it's not one of the th it's not it's not a program that fall in the category of you having to fill a physical form so let's start with if you are interested in epidemiology so if you're interested in studying epidemiology you can see that this msc in epidemiology it examines which factor protect maintain or improve the health of individual and populations and which factors are harmful and cause diseases here is the master program overview at a glance you can see that the main focus of that program is on epidemiology quantitative methods epidemiological fields of application and research oriented uh, program the semester the students so this program enrolls about 30 to 35 students per semester and this program is going to be taught in english language it has about 120 course credits which usually 90 is course credit and 30 is your thesis, your master thesis or course credit, uh, credits, research credits. And the regular duration of study is four semesters, which is a two year program. And then the admission requirements, it's required that you have a completed bachelor degree or certificate in written and oral, that you've passed all the exams. So the student's background and career opportunities, you see if you have a first degree in any of these uh, options, so this health, science, natural science, nutritional science, any of this range, your career opportunity, if you study MSc in epidemiology, you can either work in academia or in research, in pharmaceutical industry, consulting agency, health insurance company, clinical research organization, governmental and NGO. So you can see that this already give you a perspective on what your future will look like if you do this particular MSc in the uh, program. So what you want to do next is to navigate to this side that says how to apply. And the admission requirement requires that you have a bachelor degree in any of these fields that we've discussed earlier, that you have good knowledge of mathematics and statistics because you're going to be doing quantitative analysis. 
you need an advanced competency in English, you've passed written and oral entry exam in English, and application process. This particular program will take you straight to the online application portal. And as you can see, this particular one, the study program, the application started the 1st of March, and the deadline is the 15th of May. So please mind this deadline. You are requested to have the following document ready for your application. You need a CV in tabular form, which is the Europass format. So if you want to understand what is a CV in tabular form, all you have to do is type that in Google. It will give you an overview of what it looks like. So please modify your CV accordingly. You need your bachelor degree and your motivation letter. For international applicants, please submit your application by 15th July by application portal. So this is a portal for to submit to the online to the uh, international office, which is open between 15th of May and 15th July of each year. So let me see. You make your application on the application portal. And then for international applicants who did not receive first degree from a German university, the process of applying consists of two separate parts. You need to apply to MSc epidemiology program as described above. So international applicants, take notes. You first need to fill this online application portal pro, uh, form, which will bring you here. I think the reason why it took me straight here is because I've already signed in. So I'll first sign out. Uh, where is it? Okay. Go back to overview. So I was playing with this the other day to see the programs I can apply to. Why is it not coming up like that? So what, it, what will happen is when you click on the online application portal, it will ask you to register or to fill the app, um, to register or to log in. And all you just have to do is write your name, your email address and create a password. When you do that, it will send you a confirmation link in an email for you to confirm your email uh, registration. And that will then bring you to this page that is open here. And you can see that all you have to do is uh, choose your gender, your date of birth, your nationality, your current place of residence. You need to write the full address, your telephone number. So if you are as an international applicant, remember to add the country calling code to, to that part. Your field of study for your bachelor program, write the full name. Your, your current occupation, if you, call, if you are still a, a student or you are working. How or from whom did you learn about this study program? You can type it here. If it is because of me, you can write that from Impact with Alice YouTube channel. And uh, you need to upload here your motivation letter. And then have you any practical experience if you've done internship? Write it here and tell them what the topic of your internship was about. Tell them what area of epidemiology you are interested in. Your proof of English language. If you're an English speaker, uh, if you study in previously study in English, this is where you want to uh, add your uh, what's it called uh, information on. If you take an ex a, a certificate, like it's not necessary. So if you've written one, select what you have. If you have other language skill, tell them here. Your basic skills in statistics. You can write which subject you are very good at your curriculum vita a your bachelor degree your transcript of record and then if this is your first application to lmu you need to let them know and then you just click next that will bring you to a summary page where you then confirm that all the information you've entered into the application portal is correct and then you click submit and that's finished that and then don't let that don't think that's the end the second thing is that now you have to come here and go to the LMU, as a, because you are an international applicant, you need to go to this website to fill a second application. So that will take, that application will go straight to the international office. And when you click on that, yeah, this one, because I've not logged in here before, it's not. So all you just have to do, enter your email address, your password, and log in. That's if you've already created an account. If you haven't, you click on the register, which will ask for your name, password, first name, last name, and then you register, and then you fill out the information that is on that page. Let me see if it will allow me to use the same information like the one I used to submit earlier. No, 
So I have to register to be able to access this particular portal. I, I don't think I'm, the time is running out. I need to go to the office. So you just need to fill this and submit. So that is the second thing. So you should see that it says the first thing to do, the second thing. In order to complete this process, you also need to upload a letter of acceptance. So that's if you've been, if you've been given an admission, if you're able to secure an admission to this program, then you will need to upload your acceptance uh, letter. Okay. So by 19th of June, you should be, you should have received the confirmation if you're, if you've been accepted to the program. And if you have all these stages you have to go through, so I think they have both oral and written exam, which is an interview before they would then do every other thing that is necessary. So just go through the information on the page and that will help you and guide you with your application to the program. The second type of application, which I was mentioning earlier. So as you can see, MS in a, these two have been able to go, use the portal for that. This is another one that requires you to fill form. So I was, let me check which program was that. So this was a program in geology, paleobiology. For this particular program, the, for, for the MSc in geology, paleobiology or related field, that particular program, the deadline was the 31st of March. So we are too late to make application for this particular one. And then because that one make uh, require you to fill all this form and then send in your this form together with the CV transcript and other documents to the international office for admission. So this is the second type that this is the second uh, form of application that you might come across when you choose some of the program on their website. Our instructions for the prerequisite, the application procedure and every other thing and you have this apply now so some of the courses they are easy to navigate some not so easy so you just have to take your time to read the application uh, process and if you've received your admission or uh, if you've received admission into a, in, into any of the university that you've come across on my channel please write in the comment section share the good news let's sh let me happy to amplify the sharing of the good news so that others can be motivated and remember that even if you make applications and you do not get it for in one particular university it might just be god trying to direct you to apply to a different university where your life might be better i'm going to make a video on what next to do after you've received your ad admission letter and until next time please do not forget to click on the subscribe button and I'm going to see you in my next video. Until next time, bye-bye.